we have no stunts in the weather. No, we've got a system coming in on Saturday that's really been problematic to forecast just exactly where it will track. It's going to make the difference between yeah. seeing a good bit of snow and then not seeing any snow at all. The snow that's been out there today has caused a few problems on the road, so be careful if you're out there. And it's because the temperatures dropped pretty quickly into the 20s. We were into the 30s earlier, and we've actually seen the temperatures drop through this morning. Now teens and 20s. There's the first chance for snow. Remember, I said there's three chances. The first chance will wrap up through the next several hours. Then the temperatures will drop tonight. Another chance for snow as we look to tomorrow, really about midday. The system will come in a little bit later tomorrow than the system today did. And then looking ahead beyond that, the next system will arrive on Saturday. But this is the one that will bring us that possibility for some accumulating snow, or at least much more accumulating snow that we will have seen today or tomorrow. There's the first system exiting. Chance to clear out tonight. That'll allow for some cooling. And then the next system comes in tomorrow about midday or so. Scattered snow showers. Amounts are going to be very light if any uh, accumulation is at all possible. Temperatures will also warm up a bit, so that may actually melt more than is going to fall. And then here's the system that comes in on Saturday. The issue with this is it's right at the edge of our short range model. So really I have to use our long range models to show you what I'm expecting as far as snowfall accumulation. Here's what may fall from the two systems prior. And then you add on top of that the long range stuff. And it really depends on which model you look at. The GFS is actually keeping the system directly over Chicago. But you go to the Euro and it really nudges that all to the north. And the trend has been to nudge this to the north. So when you take all of those numbers into consideration, the amounts here from the various models, through Saturday morning, almost nothing. And then once Saturday system unfolds, the numbers start to climb up as the snow accumulates, but it's really anywhere from about two to maybe four inches. I think there's going to be some outliers and I'm going on the lower side of that because I do think the system is going to nudge to the north. Most of Chicago will not see that much. However, if you are in Lake County, Illinois, or you are in McHenry, I think your chance for accumulating snow is on the higher side. Temperatures drop after that and snow chances will really diminish after Sunday, but down into the teens and 20s with overnight lows in the single digits.